Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to start the animation links. So, what are the animation we are having in uh, the animation link page? We are going to see one by one from this session, right? So, I am going to start with the location. Fine. So, let's see what is that location. So, for that, I am just going to have one line. Okay. I am going to have one line. I am just name that as a and uh, this one as this point is B fine yeah so I'm going to have one more box here keep the box like this fine right so I'm going to get help from a slider take a slider and uh, keep it over here fine so what is this location means you can move this object whatever object you want you can move from one place to another that is a location fine so just click on the box it will take you to the animation page and here you can see the option called location right so this location may be vertical or horizontal okay so you can use vertical or you can use horizontal or sometimes you can use both right so let's see the horizontal first because i have drawn a line here uh, the point a to b so i want to move this object from a to b fine so for that i'm just going to give uh, you know whenever i'm moving the slider from 0 to 100 this movement is going to happen so for that only I have taken a slider. Okay. Why I have taken a slider is. I am moving a slider from 0 to 100. That time it will be doing the movement. It, it should need some input no. For that input I am taking a slider. Fine. So I am just going to give a slider uh, tag as level. Which we have already created in the previous sessions. Fine. You can see 0 to 100 as a. You know uh, in a scale. Just go for OK. Right, so this is level and same tag name I need to give to this object. So let's take a horizontal movement first. Fine, let's take a horizontal movement. So just click horizontal movement. When you click horizontal movement, it will take you to the one window which is having uh, options like expressions, value, horizontal movement. Some options are there. What is this expression means? when this box need to move for which parameter or which tag this is going to move it is asking so just double tap on this and select the same tag whatever we have given to the slider just select this level okay we have selected level and uh, you can see the value so what is this value means what is the minimum and maximum range you are giving to the input that is exactly this one okay so the boxes you are seeing in the left side this left and right and this is like minimum and maximum range this should be depends upon your input see for slider i have given 0 to 100 right same thing it is also 0 to 100 okay so the box is moving from this a to b so that's what left side is 0 and the right side is 100 fine yeah so the next this option what is this option is how long it should go that is very important right like for example here i have given a right and uh, behind i mean behind the screen i cannot move this yeah i cannot move this so in the behind this box you are you have seen that uh, b point so i want to move the object from a to b but how come a software knows about this a to b i need to tell that correct so that is this range for example, 0 to 100 is the default to 1. Correct? 0 to 100 is the default to 1. Just go, go for it. 0 to 100, let it be. I will tell you what is this 0 to 100. I will go for online. I mean runtime. Just click OK. Just click OK. See, now the horizontal options we have given, no? So, it is checked in. Just click OK. Fine. Just go to runtime. See, I am going to move this. I am just changing. Can you see the box is moving? The box is slowly started moving. 
Yeah. See, the slider reached 100, but the box is up to here only. Correct? But my B point is here. Right? So, what is that 100 is this one only. So, it is considering this place as 0 and this place as 100. So, it is stopping here. If you want to move the object up to this place means you need to measure from what is the length of this. You need to measure and you need to give the corresponding value. Let's do that. Okay. Just make it back to its 0th place. Go for development. I will tell you. See now you can see the x and y axis here. Okay. You can see x and y axis. See my cursor is moving. According to my cursor position, it is showing the X range and Y range. Okay. Just see, I will keep the cursor here. Can you see what is X? It is 50. Correct. It is 50. Keep it over here. What is X now? It is 740. Let's round it to 750. Yeah, now it is 750, right? So, 50 difference of 750. What is the range? It is 700. Correct. So, the box need to move for 700. So, click on this box. Go to horizontal. Instead of 100, give 700. Okay. Give 700. Click OK. Click OK. Go for online now. I mean run time. Now, increase the slider. Can you see your box is moving a bit fast? Yeah, that's it. See, it is moved up to 700. 700 is this one. It is crossing the end because it was 740. I just round it to 750. No, so it is moved here. Fine. It is calculating this place. This is 750. Okay. If you want to calculate up to this, you need to increase the range. Got it? So this is how we need to give the horizontal position. Horizontal movement. Fine. Right? So, imagine the duplicate of this box and just take a duplicate and keep it over here. The box is here and this box need to move towards left side. Okay. So, default one is going towards right. Correct. Going towards right. Fine. So, now I want this box to move towards left. So, for that what I need to do? Go for same horizontal. Just change this this should be 100 towards left to no so that should be 100 it is starting at right hand side so that should be 0 okay same thing this should be 700 and this should be 0 fine i just made just opposite to this box i just changed the position of this so now click okay okay go for online now see, this box will move towards right, this box move towards left. Because for this box I made left side as 0. For this box I have made right side as 0. Just check it out. That's it. See, at one point both are meeting, no? Yeah. Can you see? That's it. So this is how we need to use the horizontal moment. Got it? Understand? This is the simplest way. Fine? Suppose this box need to move from this place to this place. What you will give? Whatever we have done here, right? Whatever we have done here, same thing we need to do to, the, do to that box. Shall we do that? Yeah. Go to window 1. This is level. This is same slider. This is the same, same slider. I have given the same tag. Just click on this box. Go to horizontal. Now, I have already used this horizontal location. No? So, it is taking the default range. So, make it 0 to 100. And this 0. And approximately how long it will be? Let it be like 550 or something. I will just give 600. Okay. We need to measure it. We need to measure this one and this one. We need to get the difference. But I am just giving some random value. I am just approximately calculating and I am giving. Okay. Go for. Okay. Okay. Run time. Go for window 1. Now increase this. 
can you see the box is moving yeah yeah so it is exceeding because 600 means it is exceeding we will decrease that 600 i have given 600 here no so it is exceeding so just give 450 okay 450 go for okay okay go for runtime increase this yeah so i have given 450 so exactly it is stopped here so this is 450 okay so how i am calculating this 700 600 450 depends upon the axis see here keep the cursor here check out the x value here okay what is x value 510 right the box was approximately stopped here right so it is maybe 1010 so what is the difference 510 correct if it is 450 means it will be here 510 means here correct so i'm just taking the difference of x and x scale x range here and x range here take a difference and give the value over there fine so yeah so this is horizontal location fine the same thing we are having the vertical location also fine so i'll teach you in the next session fine so just practice this in a software we'll meet you in the next location uh, you know next session with this vertical location fine thank you